the way that the Zybook uh, defines even and odd integers might seem somewhat counterintuitive. Uh, and what I want to show you is that the way that students often want to define even and odd um, is consistent with the way that it's defined in the Zybook. All right, so to get started, let's first write out all of the even, well, maybe not all of them since there's infinitely many. Let's write out uh, what we can say, what uh, people often intuitively say is an even integer. All right, the even integers are like, uh, okay, so we write even integers. Okay, so we got 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. We've got the negatives of those. And so on that way. Now remember, we're trying to make a definition that captures all of these, not just the ones we have here, but the and so on. All right, so the way that most, uh, that most students uh, intuitively want to define even integer is they say that uh, when you divide it by two, or that two divides an even evenly. <laughs> um, so that uh, there's no remainder when you divide an even integer by two. And that, that makes sense. So remember our, con so that's, so remember that uh, saying divides evenly is the same as saying divides. So, uh, so let's, so as a preliminary definition, and I will show you that it's exactly the same as the one in the book, as the one in the uh, Zy book, let's say x is even, and now x is an integer, all right, so an integer x is even if 2 divides x. Now, instead of saying if, let's say means. I think that makes a little more sense here. An integer x is even means 2 divides x. Okay, well, what does it mean for 2 to divide x? So remember our definition. 2 divides x means that x over 2 equals k is an integer. All right, so that's the definition of divides. And remember, divides is, is the more formal way of thinking divides evenly. Okay, now if we multiply both sides by 2, this means x equals 2k, where k is an integer. And you'll see this is exactly the definition that's given in the Zy book. In the Zy book, x is even means the same thing as x equals 2k, where k is an integer. Okay, so now we've defined the even integers. We've defined what that means. Okay, so now let's think about the odds. Odd integers. Let's see, what are the odd integers? We've got 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. We've got negative 1, negative 3, negative 5, negative 7, and so on. Those are the odd integers. Now look what happens, right? Uh, if we subtract 1 from each of these, right, if we subtract 1 from each of these, Let's see, that would be negative 7 minus 1, negative 5 minus 1, negative 3 minus 1, negative 1 minus 1, oh, yes, 1 minus 1, 3 minus 1, 5 minus 1, and so on. So what is that? Let's see. That's negative 8, negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4, and so on. These are the evens, right? 
These are the evens. So let's say that x, okay. So what this tells us, right, x is odd means x minus one is even. Okay, what does it mean for x minus one to be even? Right, remember what this means. This means x minus one, oh, this means that uh, two, right, from, our intui from your intuitive notion of, of even, that means that two divides evenly into x minus one. And our formalization, our formal way of thinking of that is with this concept of divides. It means two divides x minus one. Well, this means that x minus one over two equals k, or let's just give, uh, let's say k equals k, where k is an integer. All right, now x minus one over two equals k. We can multiply both sides by two. Those cancel. Now we have x minus one equals two k, which tells us that x equals, oops, two k here. X equals two k plus one. All right, so that's the math that I would do to say this means the same as x equals 2k plus 1, where k is an integer. And this, again, is the definition given for odd integer in the Zybook.